So when it comes to being the CEO of a Fortune 500 company, women, they are a minority mm -hmm. in yep. that position. But it's time to change that. That's right. Especially on this national day. So we have a few tips for women looking to thrive as entrepreneurs. So define your goals, negotiate for yourself, work hard, but be comfortable saying no. That's so important. W why do you say that? Because it's so... It's so easy to be a yes person and yes. to constantly want to say yes, but it's really just as important to be able to say no. It really is mm -hmm. for your own quality of work right. too. Sometimes you uh, commit to too many things and uh -huh. then all of those things right. don't get the attention that they need. Exactly. So, I totally agree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Be smart with money and support other women. Another one uh -huh. to hit on. Women can be, well, you know how we can be. Right, right. But <laughs> I don't even need to explain it. But it's so much more important to lift each other up. It is. You know? What, what do they say? Um, true queens help each other adjust each other's crowns. Yes. You know? I, I love, love that. Yeah, I love that. I love that. And as Bridget mentioned, today is American Business Women's Day. So it's all about supporting our female mm -hmm. entrepreneurs and as women lifting each other up. The holiday was first recognized in 1983 and established five years later by hmm. President Ronald Reagan. And on this day in 1949, the American Business Women's Association was founded. And it is a group that aims to bring together business women of diverse occupations and to provide opportunities for them to help themselves and others grow personally and professionally through leadership, education, networking, support, and national recognition. Huh. We got to help each other grow and yes. help, you know, shop, support, share, like all the things. I are you in any groups? Mm -hmm. like yeah, that? and like there are a lot of great local groups um, for networking for entrepreneurs on Facebook. Mm -hmm. um, Them City is a great one. Latinas Network, a lot of really fabulous ones, and that's what it's all about. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there are so many articles on what successful women do and don't do on a daily basis. <laughs> I don't, the work never stops. It does not even on Sundays. <laughs> so this interesting article from the everygirl.com says all successful women do these things at the beginning of the week. We'll see. Let, let's compare Rachel and yes, see. Yes. So first clean their home. Whew, I need help on that one sometimes, I'm not gonna lie. That's Luke's job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Prep their meals and wardrobe. That's my job mm -hmm. in the house. Mm -hmm. yeah. I cook, he cleans. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Have a financial check-in. Yeah, that's always good. I'm good with that. Not so much here. No. Yeah. <laughs> uh, map out the rest of the week. That's just on my phone. I don't know about you, but I am no longer a paper calendar person. It is yeah. all digital. I'm still a paper person. Really? I love my desk calendar. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Set goals and read. Yeah. There are a lot of great things to read. And, you know, you don't have to be perfect. You don't have to do all the things all at once. It's about goal setting and just hitting those milestones. Mm -hmm.